So it's been a couple of months now since I was last out hunting. Last time I was out in midwinter conditions with the Polaris and the tracks on. Snow's receded since then, had a COVID lockdown, and I've had a few mates touching base and they've got a few pig problems. So I touched base with Timmy, he's made his way down from Nelson with a dog, and yeah, we're looking forward to a few days of good weather and pig hunting. Yes, yeah, so I'm pretty excited. I've never hunted this Otago country for pigs, so uh, we're down in St. Bathans, a traditional gold mining town, so yeah, a bit of history here. And uh, yeah, get into the hills, hopefully a couple of tussock boars, um, yeah. Struck a, struck a bit of gold, you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, golden boar. Man. Yeah, it'd be cool. There's definitely a few um, golden pigs around. But yeah, we're coming into lambing right now as well, and I've got this opportunity to make a bit of an impact on the population before we get into that lambing period. A lot of farmers have trouble with the big boars coming down out of the hills in lambing season and, and smoking over a few of their lambs. So it's quite important for the pig hunters to get into these blocks and knock the numbers back or at least push the, the big boars back. Once they get a taste for lambs, they can do a hell of a lot of damage. Um, they can go through 30, 40 lambs in a night even, just one after the other. They just eat the sweet bits out of the lamb and carry on. So um, yeah, it's really important in some of these blocks, especially once they start lamb killing to, to really get Get on top of them. Yeah, well, pretty exciting to get into this new country. Um, got a bit of snow in the hills up here as well, so that's good. Keep the temperature down. It's going to be quite cool, so always a worry in that warmer temp is uh, overheating dogs, but we're not going to have to worry about that today. So, yeah, a bit more chance of some action. So, we're sort of straight into it here. Like, while well, we've got a massive station, it could be picked way up the top. These lower bits of country is where we want to focus attention early on. More of the stock with the lambs are down low, so we want to really make sure we put in the pressure on these lower down pigs. I'm gonna get out me, me pig shooter. No scopes today. Yeah, we've just got the wee Bagara 44. Mean little pig shooting gun. Yeah, so the 44 Magnum's actually a pistol round, but yeah, it's just like hitting them with a brick. They call it a hammer, because it just knocks stuff down. So, little cartridge, but yeah, perfect for pig shooting. Good to sort of 80, 80 yards. That's about it, so yeah, good bail gun, but wouldn't be shooting deer with it. Alongside Anto and Tim for this mission are Maniatoto locals Tom and Brett, along with their dogs Rosie, Shadow and Pup Jess. But there's an absent team member that may be weighing on Tim's mind. Yeah, if you've watched any of our previous pig hunting episodes, uh, you'd notice that we haven't got Midge, the uh, star camera dog, on anymore. So, uh, yeah, a bit of a shame he uh, got, a, got a sore back um, oh, a year ago now. So. Um, he was in a bit of a bad way. I'm not sure how it happened actually. He just yeah, he started hobbling, and um, I had to put him down. So it was a, bit, a pretty sad day. But um, you know, it I took me a little bit to get back into filming the pig hunting because uh, I didn't have me mate there. But yeah, enough times passed, and we're back into it now. And uh, we've got a little pepper I'm bringing down from up north, and uh, hopefully she can do the damage. That's a grieving process, eh? There's a farmer and a hunter. That's what you do. Oh, no, I get it. I like dogs more than most people. Well, pigs love that spear grass, they get into the roots and in this country, it's pretty much what they live on. Dead sheep and spear, Spaniard roots. Yeah, so we've got some good fresh sign here, you can see that it hasn't been rained on at all, it rained two days ago, so pigs should be handy here, they haven't been disturbed, so. You know the best thing about hunting with you, Timmy? What's that? You can see which way the wind's blowing, mate, just look at your hair. Oh yeah, look at it. It's, actually, <laughs> it's actually a bit of a pain in the ass, we've got the wind going straight up the gully, so. We have to keep our eyes out to see if we see any pigs getting out. But we're just going to stick right in the bottom so it doesn't blow up the sides, hopefully. And yeah, just see what happens. Good size pig mark here. Be 100 pound plus anyway, so. Yeah, more <laughs> after. So, for guys that don't do a lot of pig hunting, there's kind of the perception that you can just send the dogs off and they'll find you a pig and you just got to chase them down. But I don't do a lot of it, but I get out enough that I do know. You actually have put a lot of work in yourself to give the dogs the opportunity to smell these pigs. So it wins vital, like all hunting, putting your dogs in the right situation, the same as when you're deer stalking. Yeah, so we'll just decide to split here. Anto's going to stay down on the track with his binos so he can see anything that's happening if we spook a pig off or whatever. Just eyes on the hillside, it's pretty hard when you're on that side to see something getting out of it. So we're going to cut up the side, we've got the wind in our face there, cutting around the face to where they're likely to be parked up. So. Yeah, fingers crossed. I've just seen an animal over here, so I just picked it out. It's an orangey colour, and apparently there's the odd deer here, so there's a good chance there's a deer that you get orange pigs here too, so I'll just make sure. Pigs. Excellent. Yeah, got a real orangey one. I don't know if they're that big. There's pigs over there, but I don't think they're very big, the two that I saw. We're just trying to figure out if there's any bigger pigs. They don't look overly big. Three, 
four. Oh, four, yeah. Five? I think there might be six there. Oh, that's pretty cool to see a mob of small pigs there. Um, but yeah, today we're, we're targeting a bigger pig over this other side, so we don't really want to disturb it. So we're going to leave them be and just work our way to our original plan, try and find us bigger pig. We'll send sign off. Whilst this open country is relatively easy to navigate, it's interspersed with thick bands of matagari, an extremely thorny plant that can really do a number on you if you're not dressed for the occasion. After a half hour of working their way up into the breeze, the dogs are starting to act a bit keener. Good breeze for this now, isn't it? Does she like boars? Yeah. yeah. She has been smashing mainly boars lately, eh? The old man's got eight with her just lately, yeah. It's funny, some dogs will just go boary, eh? Yeah. Love it. Another one's just sour. <laughs> yeah, so Anto, I'd just be uh, Peppa's sniffing off up this galley here. So I'd just keep a good eye. There's a good chance there's a pick up here the way she's trailing. Yeah, okay, roger that. I'm keeping a good eye on that. Yep, they're all one. There's some barking. Yep. Sweet. Shadow's right on the tail of the boar, which is blasted off at high speed, following a well-worn trail in the Matagari. This guy knows the terrain well and is making use of the home ground advantage. And once out in the open, the boar really puts on the afterburners, increasing the distance between itself and the dog giving chase. Pigs are renowned downhill sprinters, but they don't have the straight out speed over long distances that a pig dog has. And Shadow certainly no slouch, and she soon catches back up as the pursuit hits the valley floor. She decides to make her move, angling in towards the boar and pulling it up by grabbing hold of its front leg. The fight's far from over though. In fact, it's only just beginning. The dogs are split, they're on different pigs, over. I'm in the creek going back up the creek after one. And the other one's gone down towards the bikes. The bigger one's gone towards the bikes. Over. Yeah, Anto, Anto's just seen two pigs coming down with the dogs after. The dogs have split, one pig each. Sounds like, um, yeah, it looks promising. So the dogs have found a couple of pigs. So I'm going to see if I can figure this out. It's about maybe 80 pounds. Yeah, shit, we better get down there. So uh, there was, I think we've got two pigs bailed at the moment. There's quite a bit of barking going on and one dog on each pig, so. Sweet, so yeah, plenty of action. A couple of pigs bailed, this is exciting. Uh, we had quite a few smaller pigs coming up, so uh, we're lucky, I think. We've got the two biggest ones out of the mob, which is pretty rare. This is awesome. Yeah, normally Tarly and Charlie cops it, but we're pretty lucky here. Look, sounds like, from what Anto said, the pig he's next to down there, uh, there's a reasonable pig and the other one that's bailed is bigger, so yeah, Pepper's not barking very often. I think she's just standing off. So yeah, let's hope it's a decent one. We've got one more dog here as backup, but we'll probably just leave them bailing till we get closer and see how big it is. So we've only got one dog bailing here. It's quite tricky to shoot them off one dog. We've got to be very quiet and sneak in. Try and get a sign of it and shoot. If there's two dogs or three dogs, they keep the attention on the pig. But here, it'll be listening and it'll hear us come in. So we're going to have to be super quiet. Sweet, so we've got a nice little bow. I'm just going to make sure she's safe. And then I'm going to shoot her in the head. Good dog. Get him. Here, Peeper. Here, Peeper. Here. Good girl. Good girl, good girl. I'm just doing this because she's never actually had one shot over her. Uh, we normally have a holder with us, so just she was a little bit apprehensive there of the shot. So straight away after, didn't get her excited. But that's cool. It's not an overly big pig, not the big one we were hoping for. It's probably only oh, 60, 70 pounds, something like that. So, But yeah, good little eater and there's no marks on it. Yeah, it's Murphy's Law, isn't it? Uh, we're in the open country. We're hoping to get it, get some real cool action out in the middle. But um, yeah, she bailed it right in the thick, but they, they often head for the thickest piece. So yeah, at least we got some action there and the other one's out in a bit clearer stuff. So we're just gonna put this dog on a lead. If there's two dogs, they might try and have a crack at that one. So I'm gonna put this one on a lead and we'll slowly work our way up there. The good thing with bailing dogs, we don't need to be in a hurry. She'll just stand off there and bail away now. 
Pippa. Right, on to you. the next one. Thank you. Yeah, on to the next one. We got the sow, now we need the boar. Thank you. Big boar next time, eh? I'm just going to catch up to Anto now. Sneak in and shoot it. How's it looking? Dog's held it up nicely, so Timmy's going to go and finish it off. Let's get in there, eh? It's just in here. Oh. So I've just charged the dog. So the problem, the problem we've got at the moment is it's in the real thick shit and it's chasing her a bit. So. I'm just going to wait till it's in a better position. It's just so thick I'm struggling to see where it is. Up here? Yep. She'll bail it again, Dave. Hopefully she bails it out in the open. Oh, that was exciting. You gotta wash it that time. She grabbed it, but she, she'll bail at times too. Pretty fast and loose there. You gotta be so careful when it's just one dog like that having a little crack. Easy for them to let it go on the pig charge. Yeah, like the pig lined me up then. But she was holding she was holding on well at that stage, so. Man, the day can change so quick. Um, yeah. Cruising along, perfect, beautiful day, and all of a sudden I had a couple of pigs just coming down full noise. Was there a few up there or just the two? Yeah, there was a, there was a whole mob of them, eh? Nothing much bigger than that, eh? They were all that or smaller, so yeah, pretty cool, Brett, wasn't it? Right, awesome. That was awesome. What was the other Cheers one? Cheers for that. Nicely done. Cheers, bud. Yeah, it was only slightly smaller than this. It was a sow. Yeah. So yeah, pretty cool action. That's the thing with bailing dogs. Like, if you've just got holders, they'll all just grab that. Not that exciting. So with bailers like that, it's pretty fast and loose. It's pretty cool. It's a real successful hunt straight off the bat. The heat of the day's gone now, so we've come out for an evening hunt. I'm going to let the boys climb up this big face. They've got a plan Thanks, to mate. do a bit of a loop around. But this was this big wide country. I'm going to hang back, do a bit of glassing, see if I can put them onto a pig. Otherwise, film some of the action of the dogs chasing the pigs down like last time. I guess taking the easy route out. We're going to do the hard yards. <laughs> <laughs> it is the easier option. Yeah, mate, you, know my <laughs> you, know, you know my granddad used to do that, eh? That was his role. Get the ones that came down. Yeah, he probably stuck more pigs than anybody. <laughs> and the granddad. <laughs> Tomorrow we've got a young buck joining us. So Tim and I can stand down the bottom together. Yeah, perfect. That sounds good, actually. It's certainly a lovely evening to take the dogs for a stroll, with Rosie tagging in on camera duties and Tim's dog Pepper ground scenting close by, the team make their way up to the steep tussock face, enjoying having the evening sun on the back and favourable wind on the nose. Seen a pig? Yeah, I've seen a pig. Should pop out shortly. There, coming up through the tussock, just saw the black of it. Yeah, you can see the black there now. Yeah, right there. I reckon we need to get Pepper across there, eh? We need to start walking as well, don't we? Keep an eye on where that pig goes. He's just going He's cutting into that gut. Yeah. Should we go and get Pepper on it? Yeah, don't go. We'll get over there and get Pepper on it. Well. Looks like a reasonable pig, doesn't it? Why is it moving? There's a heap of pigs just here. We don't want her to see them. We'll try and get Pepper on this better pig up here. He's gonna split them down so she doesn't see. We wanna try and get this other one that's getting out of it. You reckon she's on one of those smaller ones? Yeah, there's one pig coming back down to the air. So it's one of those situations where we've had a bit of a stuff up. We saw a good boar getting out of it, and uh, one of the dogs slipped away from us down into yeah, the gully. Falling back towards you, 100 metres above where you last seen me. Yeah, okay, sweet as. So, yeah, we saw a good pig getting out of it, but some other smaller pigs have gone underneath us, and uh, we're just trying to call the dog off, let those little ones get away and put these dogs on a bigger pig trail. Yeah, that chocolate ball up top now, mate. Okay, Stay up top. And the grassy stuff or not? Yeah, that grassy patch, he's at the bottom of it. Oh, right. yeah, I see him, yeah, I see him. Yeah, sweet. In the, right in the gut, see him there? Yep, he's right in that, on the le uh, right hand side of it. See him there? What do you reckon we do here, Tom? 
Tom's got to climb hard to try and quickly get Rosie on the scent of the big ball, which has disappeared out of view into the thick scrubby gut. After 10 minutes though, there's no sign of the pig anywhere. The guys assume it's climbed up and over into a new catchment. However, they're in for a welcome surprise. Yeah, I've got it. It's come honking down here towards me. Tom just got up to where we last saw the ball go into the Matagari, and he called Rosie back, put her in the scrub, and the pig was sitting there to hold up. Uh, we had the drone in there, so maybe it was playing possum, but yeah, it's honking down the hill. It was a she's on the trail, so we'll just see if we can see it getting out of it. Yeah, there is. Where? To the right. What, coming down here? It's coming right to us, mate. Cool. It's coming into the shadow. Yes, yeah, sweet, I'll just keep an eye. You see, mate? Just hoping it is bad as like me. Right Tim lays eyes on the rapidly approaching ball and lets Pepper loose. Yeah, sweet son, Davis. Just take it. Yeah, Pepper's barking right out here, Dave. Just going out there and see. Find us the next scully round towards the unit. You make sure it's on its tail. Forget about it. Rosie. Rosie's got no time for Tim. She's hot on the boar's trail and still has a lot of ground to make up. Looks like people has got it back. Okay, it's broken now. It's just broken. That pig's just broken. But we almost got two dogs on it. Damn it. Get it back, get it back. What's happening, Anto? It's gone into the next gully. I've got to move around. I'm going to back to the ute. Yeah, sweet as we'll cut around. Ha, ah, yeah. Just saw it getting out. So I just saw it going through a clearing over there. Unless she pulls it up. Come on, Pepper. So this open country, they can still honk, man. Yeah, Pepper's honking. She's way down the river. Yeah, she's 820 now, but um, she's got a good chance still. Yeah, sweet. I'm at the ute now. Do you want me to just hang fire? Just hold fire, mate. We're going to come down this ridge to you. Whilst the two-legged contingent on the hill debate the best strategy to close the distance on the pig, there's not a moment of hesitation for Rosie. She's crossed the shallow river on the edge of the flats and is now making a beeline directly for the ball. And with two dogs on the scene, things are no doubt about to escalate rapidly. Oh, tree. Rosie's treed, mate. Hopefully she's with uh, Pepper. Yeah, she's treed there again. I've got it. Good girl, Pepper. Yep. The boars managed to throw Rosie off, but with the two dogs now bailing aggressively, it's much harder for it to make a break further downriver. So Tim's got to use this opportunity to cut the distance and fast. Yeah, we're just about at the buggy now, and the dogs have stopped. Oh, shit, you all right? Uh, you'll need help. Yep. Yeah. I got this. Yep. I got it. Yeah, sweet. So the dogs have both stopped on this tracker, which means I've got the pig down there. It's on the flat, so we've got a good chance now. Before it had a big downhill run, but it doesn't now, so let's hope we can get it. Hello in the river bed. Yeah, it must be right on the edge of the river. Happy? Yep. Cool, all right, I'll think it's crossed that one. Yeah, man, let's hope we get it. We're actually quite thankful that we've got a, we've got this Polaris to take us down there. I was starting to get a bit puffed. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been doing as much pig hunting lately and I can definitely feel it. So they're 1.4 k's away at the moment. So that would have been a bit of a run after that. Oh, all the days hooning around, so. Now this is awesome, I'll be nice and fresh. Further downriver, the boars managed to make a break and was holed up in some tight scrubby country on the river's edge. Thick vines like these offer the boar a bit of added protection as the dogs risk becoming entangled. So it's rather a dangerous position for both Rosie and Pepper. Yeah, sweet, so we're getting down there now and the dogs are still treed in one spot. Treats what we call, so these are American units. It's like they've got a cougar or a bear up a tree. So we call it a tree, we sort of pick up a bit of their lingo. But anyway, so both dogs are in the one spot down here, so that's awesome. And we've got it down low on the flat, so hopefully we've got it. After sitting tight for a while, the boar hears the rumble of the approaching machine, and it sets off in the opposite direction across the river. 
Wily old boars like this will often cross rivers to try and throw the pursuer off their scent. But with the dogs this close, he's got no chance. The arrival of Tim in the Polaris bolsters the dog's confidence, but sometimes that added bravado can lead to mistakes being made. Yeah, just tag running. Luckily, there's nothing serious for Pepper, and the chase continues. The pig takes to the water once again, but after coming this far, neither Rosie or Pepper are going to let it out of their sight. He's in the river! Look at him, here! Alright, Dad. That wet paint. This train is certainly slow going for a big unit like Timmy, battling to burst his way through the snarling jumble of vines and branches, whereas there's plain sailing for the dogs up ahead. Timmy's certainly got his work cut out for him. Meanwhile, the boar continues rampaging through the undergrowth, but all of a sudden, he spins and comes charging directly back at Rosie. Luckily, Pepper comes barreling in and hits the ball hard, buying Rosie enough time to retreat. She's copped a bit of a poke from the boar's sharp tusk though, but it's not serious enough to sideline her for long, so she bravely heads back into the fight. I've got a helmet. It's pulled away. The boar's now well aware of Tim's presence and has stepped up his attempts to make an escape. Yeah, so it has the pig broke again. You're gonna have to shoot it real quick, Dave. Yep. You just get on it and I'll boom it. Run down here. Come with me, run, Dave. This is quite a dangerous time for all involved. The initial adrenaline from the chase is wearing off, but to be replaced by exhaustion from such a strenuous effort. But Tim's got to stay sharp for the safety of both himself and the dogs. You ready? Come with me. Tell me when you're on it. Give it one. He can't rush things though, and the boar refuses to present an opportunity for Tim to take a safe shot. He needs to choose a moment when the dogs aren't at risk of being caught in the crossfire. Ready? Yeah. Right, you ready? Close to crunch time now, the boar senses that he needs to make his last stand, so steps up his attacks on the dogs, charging them repeatedly. But despite her injury, Rosie's still too quick for him and manages to evade the aggressive boar. Whereas earlier, he was alternating between fight and flight. Right now, he's in full fight mode. But being unaware of the boar's increased hostility, Tim sneaks in for a closer look. <laughs> Shit! He charged me! Woo! Holy shit! <laughs> oh. He didn't like me! That was lucky. That was that far away from me when I shot. Holy Ooh. shit! What a boar! Good dogs! Good dogs! Yeah. He charged me! Did he not yeah. work? He didn't like me! <laughs> See, that's what, Tim, that was hard! Here, mate. I'm absolutely stuffed! <laughs> Good girl, Peppa! Wow! So, one's been after for a while too. Wiley boar, Tom's been after this one for a while. Man, amazing, it was getting out of it. Luckily he just played possum. People bailed it near us for a start, but being high up, it just broke down into the river. And they had it bailed there reasonably well until we got close. It saw us and it's been dogged before. Yep. So, you'd see there, I wanted a steady shot. I didn't want to shoot when it was charging. 
risk shooting the dogs, you've got to wait for a good steady bail. And it just kept moving, kept moving, man, breaking and breaking. Where they, yeah, I could have had fleeting shots at it, but it's not worth it. Finally got here, in the action I could see it, snuck around here, lined me up and just took off at me. It was going to have me. Yeah, the old chaps might have got a workout. It, it literally, I don't know if we can see it properly oh, on that. Will, eh? But it was that far when I shot, it dropped and touched my foot. Wow. But, <sighs> oh, wasn't sure if we were going to get that thing. Just kept breaking and breaking. Good path, good camera work. Bit of a ripped up dog, so good it's going to be a trip to the vets, unfortunately. Yeah. <sighs> well, that's what we come here for, good boar. We've caught blue boars, black and white boars, black boars. Now we've got a ginger boar. Man. It's a gold boar, mate. Man. Golden boar the gold from the gold fields. <laughs> Man. Oh. That was a good pig, hard pig to get. You've chased that one a few times, eh? Yeah, he's stayed in the slip a few times. Yeah. He definitely didn't want to stay bar all day. No. He just jumped out in front of you. Yeah, yeah, nearly took me out. Same as Timmy. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, I shot it at my feet. Right. It, was it was charging me, and it went buff like that, and it hit my feet. Like, crumpled into my feet. Uh, yep. He was a towie bastard, man. Oh, last job, see how big this blighter is. Got one down there. Perfect. What does he go? What's the magic number, boys? 100... 100... 115, I think. 115.8. That's a good sure. well done. That's cool. He's a cool boar, eh? Shit, he was fiery, wasn't he? That's a good boar for this area, isn't it? Like, that's, yeah. that's a decent pig for here. They don't get whoppers, and... Uh, He's a fiery bugger man, like he, you've, you've been onto him several times. Yes, and third time round. Yeah, so mm. I finally nailed him. He was a stroppy pig we saw there, he fucking tried to have me. <laughs> 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 so now nice stoked, flicking hunt man, yeah, that was awesome. That's ideal. Cheers. That's